new Jeep road. Certainly, I, I know that it is the biggest event for the Shimshalis ever. You could really say it's like man's landing on the moon for them. Um, when we were there, another meter fell away, pretty well under our feet, which was uh, a little bit unnerving. We shouldn't have th thought it was going to be uh, jump on a jeep and pass through and you know just drive drive along the road for a few hours and hey presto. But you could be trapped in the less beautiful part of the world, I suppose. And uh, hopefully. Shimshell Take 2 will be slightly more successful than Shimshell Take 1. Always trying to get to Shimshell. Story of my life. yesterday. Quite glad I wasn't in it when they when they drove over. Otherwise, I think I would have lost control of various body, bodily functions. Um, but we're here. We're um, we're going, and we've got half the road crew with us. Why can't you, you know, drive a few square keep along it? I think this is the 
last one. <laughs> this one's pretty substantial though. I'm not quite sure I see where a car would go. Uh, it's just a question of um, using your imagination a little bit. This is number six. This is the one they're calling the small one. Everyone's having a really good time with this. Maybe this is what the Jeep Road is really all about anyway. Now uh, night's pretty well fallen, it's now twilight, and now we're creeping away uh, along the deep road. Um, we haven't even reached the first staging place on the old on the old path. but they could pretty well see um, to get the rocks out of the way they just needed the uh, torches to inspect the road uh, to make sure there weren't any cracks in it so it didn't slide off into the river uh, when we